Experiment 11, lipids and proteins. Okay, so for this lab, we are going to figure out what the fat content of potato chips are. So potato chips are just made from potatoes, some kind of oil, and salt. So um, here I've got 5.23 grams of potato chips, and I've made sure to grind that up really, really well. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wash it with some petroleum ether. And petroleum ether is a really nonpolar solvent. So what that's going to do is um, that's going to separate the fats from the starch and the salt that's going to be left over in the bottom that we'll use for later. So we're not going to discard this, but we're going to wash this three times with petroleum ether. So I'm just going to pour 20 milliliters in this little beaker here. And then we'll take that and then just kind of pour it over. I'm just going to rinse off the, the pestle with it also because I was grinding stuff up and you want to make sure that you get as much as you can. So, And then after you do that, you're going to kind of like carefully crush these up in here so that you can kind of get as much of the fat from the chips as you can into the solvent. So you kind of do this for about a minute or so and then what you'll do is going to take a pipette which I have set up over here and we have a filter paper that we've weighed out and that filter that filter paper it says coffee filter in your notebook but this is 0 0.09 grams so I've already weighed that out put that here so basically we're gonna dissolve everything try to get as much of the fat out of here as possible but remember we're gonna do this two more times so it's fine if you don't get everything out the first time and then we're just going to pipette all the liquid off the top of it and filter it through this funnel. Okay, so that's probably good for that. And then we're just going to pipette carefully off the top of it. Try not to get any of the solid, but if you get some, it's fine. That's what the filter paper here is for. So I'm just being really careful to try to get as much of that petroleum ether out as possible. Okay, and so I've got kind of all I can get out of that. So we're just gonna let that drain through and then we'll wash it two more times with petroleum ether. Okay, so after we let all this stuff dry, all of this stuff combined, which is your 250 milliliter beaker, your uh, thing that they call the coffee filter, and also the defatted chips, all of that together weighs 103.55 grams. But so for the next step, what we're doing is I've dumped all of it out of here into the beaker and I'm just going to rinse it with water. Uh, at first it's 35 milliliters of water and I have it on a hot plate and I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And basically what that's going to do is that's just going to get rid of any proteins or salt that's left over because those are going to be more water soluble. So just kind of stir that a little bit and I'll go back to that. And also, so what I've done, instead of using the 100 milliliter beaker because I needed to dry this, I used an instrument in my lab to get all the solvent off. But this is the fat that we extracted from the chips earlier. So this is after I've gotten all the solvent off, all of that oil, all of that there is all the fat that was in those chips. And so after I weighed that out, I got that there was 1.82 grams of fat left. And um, the weight of this empty, which is what will be replacing the weight of the labeled 100 milliliter beaker, that is 94.34 grams. And then the weight of this plus the fat left over is just that plus 1.82 grams of fat, which is 96.16 grams. And also over here, I wanted to mention that the beaker itself, just the 250 milliliter beaker, it asks for that, is 98.98 .98 grams. And the coffee filter by itself, before we got started, was 0.9 grams. So 0 0.9 grams for this and 98.98 .98 for this. I don't want to touch that because it's probably hot. Um, but so we're just gonna let this stir for a little bit. We're once again just trying to get whatever salt we're gonna get out of there. And this will eventually eventually be centrifuged. And I'll 
show you that in just a minute. And so eventually we'll just separate the two layers out and we'll be able to get the supernate off, which is just the liquid with um, the salt and the proteins left over. So um, I'm going to put a little more water in there. This is that extra 15 milliliters that I asked for. And I'm going to keep stirring that. And then in about a minute or so, I'm going to centrifuge this down and then you'll be able to see what that looks like. Okay, so after that centrifuge, so basically what a centrifuge is, is it just spins it really fast and it separates it out. So that thick layer at the bottom is like where the solids kind of went and then up here is what we're interested in. So that has all of our dissolved protein in it and all of our salt. And so I've already used, I've already made the standards for the lysozyme and the reagent blank. But basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take 20 drops of that liquid that's on the top, put in there. This is the, uh, what is it called? The Bradford reagent. I've already measured out five milliliters of it exactly. And so basically we just add that to it now. Okay. And then you wanna mix that up and make sure it is good and mixed up. And so one of the things that I wanted to point out is that this is the reagent blank. So this is just water in that Bradford reagent and it's really blue. And then this is the thing that we just made. So it's kind of like a murky kind of gray color. So that's gonna be important because the absorptions are gonna be different once we take it over to the spec 20, which I've already heated up and gotten the values for. But I'm gonna go ahead and go get the absorbance data and I'll give that to you as soon as I'm done with that. For this part here, it's uh, for number eight, it asks to estimate the weight based on the chip sample. Well, we don't know what kind of chips these are. So we're gonna mark that part out. And basically um, the grams here, that's just, don't worry about that part. And uh, we're just gonna assume that this uncorrected percent is your corrected percent. We're basically just skipping the part where we're correcting the carbohydrate weight. So all of this, these two things right here are gonna be the exact same data down here. Okay. And so after we got that data um, for our potato chip extract, which I believe is, okay, that's this one. So for our potato chip extract, our absorbance at 595 was 0 0.925. And it's kind of like a gray color, so I wrote that. And then for our lysozyme control, that's this one here. It's kind of a light blue color. And uh, the absorbance is 1.480. And then the last one is this reagent blank, which is just water and the um, Bradford reagent. And that has, it's a dark blue color and its absorbance is 1.440. And then, so down at the bottom, um, I showed you this beaker earlier. Or, this isn't a beaker, but we're replacing the 100 milliliter beaker with this. And so the weight of this before, without the fat, is 94.34. So that's gonna be number two on your data. And then with the fat, which is number one down here at the bottom, is 96.16 grams. And so the weight of the fat total is 1.82 grams. And to find the percent weight, you would just take the 1.82 and divide by the total weight of the chips, which is 5.23 grams. So you should get somewhere roughly around like 25% about there. Um, I haven't actually calculated it, so you may need to just do that really quickly. Um, but other than that, that is the end of the experiment. Thank you for watching experiment 11 lipids, and proteins, you can now complete your procedure quiz.